Hi everyone, welcome to Zainer's NEET UG 2022 information series. In our previous video, we looked at how to smart fill choices using Zainer. This is a specific video for candidates who are aspiring for deemed to be university seats uh, or deemed university seats uh, for MBBS or BDS. In this video, we'll take you through how to look at Zainer and how to use Zainer to decide your preference orders. Also take right decisions based on the fee structure that is available and the other factors for deemed universities. You can click on the seat matrix that is available here where we have the smart choice filling option. Uh, once you click on All India, PG Medic All India UG Medical Counseling, you'll have all the seats of MBBS and BDS that is available in your choice list. Now here, you can filter on either MBBS or BDS. And then since you would like to know the fee structure, you, except and in case you wish to learn, know the bed details uh, based on which you take decisions, then you can keep these two open. And now filter on the quota that you are eligible for, which is deemed paid seats quota. If you're also eligible for NRI sponsored seats, you can also mention deemed NRI. Uh, if you're not eligible for the NRI seats, then you can mention deemed paid seats, which is the regular management quota seats under deemed universities. You may belong to any category, but as far as deemed paid seats are concerned, every seat is under open category. So you will have these choices listed down. As you can see, there are 49 deemed university choices that are available in the choice list now. And you'll be seeing all these choices in the choice list. Uh, if you have selected deemed quota and you have paid the security deposit accordingly. Now within these choices, every choice is now listed as per the last year's closing rank. So if you look at it, you will have the closing ranks of round one, round two, round three, and round four of last year, and all choices listed down as per the closing ranks of last year. This will give you an idea of the preference of candidates as far as deemed universities are concerned from last year. This need not necessarily be your preference. If you wish to look at only a particular state, let's say you want to look at Karnataka, or if you wish to look at a particular state, only uh, northern regions, and then you wish to filter out on Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra and states around uh, your region, you can filter out those states and you will be able to see all the seats and their allotments, the number of seats, etc., and where they closed in each round. At a later point in time, we'll tell you how to decide between moving on from round two to round three to get the advantage of seats that were not uh, possible, whether you will be able to get the advantage, etc., based on data that is available from last year. You see that there is a shift from round one to round three. Uh, round two to round three based on and that is also dependent on the institute so we'll get to that at a later point in time as of now you have a clear preference order you also have the fee structure over here and in case you just wish to filter out on the fee structure saying that i would like to look at all seats which are in the fee range of less than uh, 30 lakhs then you can filter out on fees all institutes which are uh, have which are which have an annual fee of less than 30 lakhs also what is to be noted is that some institutes may have a differential fee structure across years or some institute may have a 10 percentage increase in fee so in that case or if you look at uh, click on this particular link it will give you clearly what is a fee what is a hostel fee and what is the additional fee that needs to be paid and as, as it is mentioned here a 10 percentage additional tuition fee has to be paid as development fee and the fee shall be revised upwards by five percentage if you wish to plan for that and accommodate and take your decisions based on that that is also available here and in case you move on from this seat to from round one to round two, there'll be a minor deduction usually in the first round fee that you pay. That will also be available if the institute has mentioned that in their brochure or prospectus. For the institutes that are mentioned there, it will be available there and you can take a decision based on that too. This will give you an idea as, as we move on to round two of uh, next, uh, of the, of the, of the uh, round one of uh, All India, once it is completed and the results are published, we'll be updating the details and we will share information as we move ahead for you to take right decisions this information we are trying to collect for all the private institutes especially the open states as information as well we'll share that information to the extent possible for the bigger states in the same plan without any additional charges if you haven't subscribed to the plan have a look at the videos on the same playlist on neat ug signed subscriptions and neat ug signed plans that are available we'll add on as much information as possible Throughout the counseling process, you will be able to instantly use that all that information. We also have a Telegram group, which is available, the link for which is available. And every query of yours will be answered in the Telegram group, whether or not you are part of the subscription plan. Any query on for, uh, whatever eligibility criteria for any state, for all India, what are the rules of all India, what will happen if I join, if I don't join, if I take free exit, everything will be available in the uh, answered in the Telegram group. You can just join it as a free Telegram group and then uh, avail, avail the benefit of 
uh, our services in as far as uh, support for need QG is concerned and hope that all the information that we provide and all the support that we provide helps you get the best deserving seat for which you have worked very hard. All the best.